Yeah, I hope you know I hear it Duck when I finally got my assignment Po I go with spirit Know that my body move in alignment With the most high The waters, the wind, and all my desires And it keep me getting higher From the earth, I felt the fire From the dirt, I had to climb up From the hurt, I had to find love And I ran into the science Manifesting on my balance Had to keep me on an island Till I got it right Somehow I know I couldn't have it If it's kind of light Light, right like, keep going. My money on top of the phones right now, and I'm zone right now, and I'm going right now. I won't pick up my phone right now. Everywhere I go, I'm home like, wow, and the money toys give me all homes like, wow, I was worried about getting it short like, wow, that's really no stress. You see me pop out with the jewels and the lights too bright, please, my my blessings. I really won't rock with it though, top off you, home fly both my parents. You see, in this lifetime, I really find more peace, it's not so serious. About that, yeah, I'm also so serious. Oh, yeah, and I got this here, and I wrote this here, and I hope you hear, and I hope you listen, I hope you hear, and thank you to me, but the ain't mine's off, it's in your vision. You know, you put on this earth to enjoy yourself like child. There's no life sentence, two little time, switch times, and I'm gonna hold that vibe, it's all thing. Gotta thank God, cause no shit, so it's so precious. But oops, I mean, it's like, you better have me home by night, cause life ain't love me, hold me tight. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's. rocking today i really don't know what we're about to do today besides just chill i guess i can you know what i'll I put down the tarot john i guess i can do a tarot reading that'd make the most sense all right if you're in the chat you feel me is there anything you'd like you know to bring to spirit bring to the universe bring to our angels and the light and God around us, you feel me? The God within us and around us. What what do we want? What do we want to know? You feel me? It's like you already know. What do you what do you want confirmation on basically? For real, for real. That's really what it is. Oh. Remind me never again to mix protein powder and tea. It doesn't taste bad, but it's like the texture is not there. It's not good. Although it's the protein powder, it's just not good in general. Oh. Ooh. Do I let y'all see my bed for real? I don't think I let y'all see my bed, IQ. I don't know about that. I mean, my bed, my bed's there. Whatever. Whatevs, man. Whatever, dude. Ugh. Oh, all right. Let's see here. We're gonna rock with the spooky deck today. As a reminder that it's not so serious. As a reminder that it's not so serious, for real. You dig what I'm saying? What do we got at the bottom of the deck here? We got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. High key. Um, yeah. We'll do a love reading. We'll do a love reading because I feel like that's something that everybody is interested in and concerned about at the moment possibly um yeah so um yeah universe guides you for me all the good light and love energy out there for our best interest for our most abundant timeline and our most beautiful path what do you have for us we have the six of swords we have the six of swords the six of swords you feel me honestly let me look it up excuse me excuse me while i'm looking it up because it's like 
I've been looking at readings lately, and it's like my own intuition tells me things about the cards, but it's also like, okay, I can have the common, I don't know, the common discernment for like what cards usually mean. But with the Six of Swords energy, six being a number associated with family or being associated with like sometimes devil energy, but it's no, neither here nor there. Oh, um, the feeling is. Well, let's get a. Let's get a clarifying card here for that. The moon. The moon card here. You feel me? I don't know. The feeling, the feeling from these cards is giving me rebirth. It's giving me possibly letting go of love in order to accept it again. In order to bring yourself to have higher standards for yourself. In order to have a more clear and concise vision for what you desire. Yep. Because what we got here... Oof. We got the Magician and the Hierophant. So what it's feeling like, what the energy is telling me is be yourself, love yourself, understand your own power and strength, and don't, you feel me, with the Six of Swords card, it's like don't talk down on yourself, love yourself, you feel me, because usually in our relationships and the people that we communicate with, they're usually mirrors to us in a lot of ways, and if your internal world is believing that you're unworthy or believing that you are not like acceptable, then your relationships might reflect that. And hopefully they don't. Hopefully you're also connected with your higher self, you're connected with your heart space, you're connected with your sacral and solar plexus in order to feel that confidence and love and joy for yourself. And that ability to give it to others as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Confirmation, verb. It's allowing yourself to be the best version of yourself so that the best version of your partner can come to you. You feel me? The partner that's for you that is also in alignment with everything that you desire. You feel me? You have to walk in that space and energy of having that, of being that, of being your best self and all that, so that you have all the confidence and all the, like, intuition. This moon card is giving me, like, intuition. Usually with the moon card, I tend to think of, like, goddess energy, you feel me, sensuality, and intimacy and like uncovering the darkness you feel me shedding a light on a darkness in order for that light to heal and then be allowed to be a part of your growth you feel me so what else do we have here for the love reading for being our higher selves what else do we have in store for us for love I forgot what gears are in this card, you feel me? But the eight of gears, what is this? The eight of, I don't think it would be wands, pentacles, I believe. So, you feel me? It feels like getting into this energy of like your thoughts, you feel me? Your thoughts, your knowledge, your emotions to a certain degree. Being in this energy of like, okay, I know what I need, I know what I want to do, I know what I desire. Now it's letting go of the thought of it so that the reality of it can come to you. You feel me? It's, the feeling is, can I get a clarification card? Can I get a clarity card, please? This one's peeping out to me. The Five of Wands, the Five of Wands. Oh, the five of wands, it's like, let go of your thoughts, be more in your actions, be more in your creation, be in more of the energy of 
allowing yourself to be, allowing yourself to do as you please, to do what brings you joy, to do what brings you peace. And you feel me? And you'll be able to let go of these thoughts, energies, concerns that essentially block you from having the peace of mind to even properly connect with your desired partner, your desired whatever, you feel me? So, yeah, so that's that. Um, can I get another card for, uh, for I guess our first reading today, for our group number one today? Am I going to start getting into groups? Do I start that? Do I do that? That's for, that's for me and my guides. What, for our viewer here, for our listeners, and those of whom, you know, will come check this out at a later date, you know, what, what else is... They're letting go, they're being more in their energy of creating and doing. And with that, then what do we see? What do we do? Oh, geez Louise, okay. Oh, King of Dis. King of Dis. What's Dis in this deck? Is it. Would those also be this? I don't know. The King of Disc, it's like, I don't know. It's, for me, we literally got the music playing. It feels like, you feel me? You're going to be in tune with the music of life. You feel me? You're going to be in tune with the frequencies and energy, the vibration it is that you desire. You get to create your vibe and then experience that vibe in the world around you. You feel me? It's aligning yourself and attuning yourself to what you desire and then and then just seeing it because that's you, that's your energy. You are, you feel me, you are a universe within yourself as well. So you accentuating your power, accentuating your desires, your positives, your most abundant, free self brings more of that to you, brings more of that which allows you to be more in that energy, which allows you to experience more of it, and have the power and discernment to keep it, hold it, share it, be a positive to the people around you, and also just love living your life for real. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, in terms of love, that also means that you, you have options. You get to choose who you want, you get to Feel me. If, even if you like, if you don't want the choice, if you just want things to come to you easily, you can just get that as well. You can just have whatever you like because you're in the energy of having all the confidence, having all the peace of mind, having all the whatever it is that you hold dear to you that allows you to just relax. And, be. and yeah, so um, keeping that in mind, uh, you know. We're gonna have a good ass day. We're having, we're gonna have a good ass time. Um, but um, yeah, and check this out. Oh, I'm not picking that one up. I'm not picking that one up. Although, what was it? The four of discs. The four of gears, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not. We're 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 dropping whatever. It's taking us backwards for real. Um, yeah, that's something I need to work on my damn self. Anyway, um, yep. Yeah, you know what? Because that's gonna be it for this reading, high key. Although, with these cards here, I got the four and seven of gears or disc and having the eight in the in the cards already is telling me that staying in our thoughts about these things staying in our head about these things you feel me staying in a lower frequency and vibration about our love life about you feel me what is possible for us in that realm it's gonna it's, it's not gonna be a good thing. The good thing is, we have the awareness and the understanding that your focus is what 
comes to you, you feel me? What you focus on, what you decide to allow to move you, to allow you to, you know, function and whatnot is kind of what comes to you. And yeah, the thought, the energy of this card, of this reading is pretty much, you know, you don't have to think too much, you don't have to say too much, just live, create, love, do what you do what you enjoy you feel me stop thinking so much it's not necessary unless you want to think about good things and the possibilities of what's coming you feel me use your imagination use your power use your knowledge use all of the tools at your disposal within you and you feel me and outside of you that you have to your availability to just live and be and be happy and in that your love life will come to you the people who love you will be more in your presence the people who desire the energy that you're giving out to the world you feel me will come to you they'll see you and you feel me and you'll find love like that you dig what i'm saying so um that's gonna be it for this reading i really I really shouldn't worry about it for now, Haiki. Because honestly, it's not necessarily so much about the cards. Although, yes, looking at the cards can give you your own intuitive reading, intuitive discernment. And I suggest that you, you know, you dive into your own understanding of things. But if you see that a reader is helping you, then accept it. You feel me? It's something that you feel like is helping you have a better mindset or a better way of thinking about things. It's not pulling you back into a sense of angst or anxiety or like something is dreadful, so dreadful and wrong that you can't overcome it. Then I would just let it go. If you're looking at readings and looking at like tarot card readings and stuff like that, and you're using it as like this is the path of my life don't worry about it so much because one ten of gears ten of whatever I'm, I'm thinking it more correlates to thoughts you feel me like don't worry about it so much we're expanding in our thoughts we're expanding in the way we think you feel me we were going backwards in that last reading now we're going forwards after reshuffling the deck you feel me so yeah allowing ourselves to think better thoughts and do better things with those better thoughts understand ourselves at a deeper level that's more joy filled and more of a oh i know myself so i know how and i know how and why i can enjoy this life you feel me? and yeah and in that knowing we can trust from big trust energy out here um You know what, we're gonna do something a little unprecedented. You feel me? What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna watch an anime. What I don't usually do is offer, I don't know, my intuitive readings on anime to people because I feel like it's a very personal thing, although I feel like it would help others, I feel embarrassed about it. So I'm getting over my own embarrassment about it because one, in doing this, I get to share some of like my most favorite things. Some of the things that I find very dear to me, you feel me? And then, yeah.
because what I'm about to share with y'all is one of my favorite animes. It might be the first anime that I, you know, this definitely isn't true, but it's the first anime, like, adult-themed anime that I've ever seen, I guess. And it's only PG-13. It's only fucking PG-13. I'm weak. I got a whooping for watching this shit, because it was on Adult Swim. But, um, let's see here. Let's see here. Nigga, what? How the fuck did that happen? Yeah. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, you might need to... It might be tangled up with my uh, Ethernet cable. But it should be easy to untangle. Yeah. here is some fully coolie you feel me i honestly this is more so just an intuitive like inspirate inspired act of watching this right now i don't necessarily know what i'm gonna receive from it but we did have a love reading so it might be in pretense in pertence is that a word it might be you know it might just be about Love. So, you know, let's see what's up. Let's see what's up. High key. Hold on, I gotta do the whole. Uh... You get out of here. this John so that y'all can hear it you dig oh yeah y'all it was already good gosh darn it brother it was already good let's see here is this about to be loud I don't know I don't know um this is why I need some earbuds, brother. This is exactly why I need some earbuds, because I don't like wearing big headphones all the time. There are times when I do like wearing big headphones while I'm playing video games or while I'm, you know, listening to something that I'm not too particularly worried about the sound quality with I don't want no big ass headphones I don't need no big ass headphones you know some nice earbuds the little wrap around Johns or even like a small a small pair of like headphones would be fine but like these big Johns that I got right now it's not it's not I love them they're hella nice. They're really nice. The sound quality is actually pretty good. I got them for Christmas. You feel me? My brother. So, shout out to that. Hi, key, I need to clean these. But, yeah. If I'm being honest, I don't like... You know, I think what I'm looking for is a nice pair of earbuds. Although, they don't have the mic. I don't need a mic because I already have a mic. But, um... Yeah. 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 
Anyway, we're gonna watch some Fooly Cooly. Just a little bit, maybe? I don't know. We might sit here and watch this whole series, damn near. But yeah, let's see what's popping. それ I don't know why, for whatever reason. あの、Oh, what the fuck? Okay. I'm really glad I decided to just pull that up real quick. Because, bruh. I guess diving into the symbolism. And for me, at times, it's like I get my downloads from the random as shit. Well, not random at this point. I've kind of kind of got it down to a science a little bit. It's... Usually music, anime, and a mixture of the two. So, which is a lot of my vibe for real. But, um, you know, when we talk about the left side, we talk about like, uh, like the eye of Horus, and I don't remember what the other eye is. You feel me? But in terms of this, it's like, when we look at our left and right side, I like to see it as like, our right side is our divine masculine, our left side is our divine feminine, the divine masculine, the science, the going and like providing for or maintaining or sustaining the feminine the divine feminine aspect, you feel me, the femininity, receiving, nurturing, expansion, growth, you feel me, those type of things. Not to say that, like, you can't have growth or expansion or nurturing from a masculine standpoint, it's like, it's it's like yin and yang energy it's energies that reside in all of us that we all have access to in our own ways it's not necessarily like a gender thing so you feel me so when you hear readers on the internet talk about like high priestess energy and like empress energy or emperor energy these are aspects of self and character and not necessarily like gender specific attributes you feel me so like you can have a caring and understanding and nurturing man still be in his divine masculine or still be a divine masculine and not necessarily like a feminine person or whatever you can still have those qualities regardless of the look of it you feel me so yeah but with this, it's like conquering the left side, conquering what, like, you feel me? Like, the divine, the, the feminine, the left side being, like, intuition, um, I almost want to say a connection with spirit in the universe, but it's like, it's all connected, so it's like, whatever. Um... Like, for me personally, it's like passion. Conquering one's passion. What comes up is conquering one's passion instead of, like, being... Being led down what, like, 
I don't know, the feeling is like temptation. It's like a lack of patience. It's like, okay, this is good in the moment, but this isn't what is leading me to what I know I'm going to be the most comfortable in. So it's almost at like sacrifice, sacrificing what is even okay for now for what is good and great for later. But the pinky is the key, high key. The past minute, I, I have nerve problems in this hand, so it's like allowing, like it's allowing like my own strength to show through the high key because it's like the feeling is I can feel my hand, but it doesn't feel like it's in alignment with what I desire or that because I'm looking at it that way it manifests its way in such a way which goes back to the reading earlier you feel me expanding our thoughts instead of thinking backwards think forward instead of well what was the problem with it what's the problem with it you know what's the solution the solution is elevating evolving our thought patterns evolving our subconscious our conscious allowing ourselves to be consciously connected with our higher self the version of ourselves that has let go of all that's blocking us already it's already there it's already available for you to access that version of yourself that is already free of all your worries doubts concerns and all that being able to talk to that version of yourself and get that perspective and then be like, okay, well, that is me. This version that sees things from this higher perspective, that sees things from, you know, from a way of being, from a way of living that allows for good things to come, for the best things to come, for, I, like, like, damn. Like, it's like I can't even say nothing because that's such a good light. And it makes the most sense for that for me, my higher self and me, because I am that self as well, I'm just getting there. You know? Like, okay, I can think better thoughts. I can have a better, I can have a better viewpoint on things. I can have a better perspective. It's the same thing. But with all these things, I can do more. I can do I can do more for myself. I can do more for others. I can do more for whoever it is that can and will benefit positively from me being myself, from me being my high self, from me being the most carefree, the most like loving the most generous the most abundant the most like you feel me unbothered version of myself that's just you feel me and in that one sharing that with others sharing i really feel like in this moment i'm understanding that yeah i'm i'm honestly I can be a reader, but for the moment, I'm more so just reading my own energy, and what I've seen in the past is that what's probably kind of still blocking me a little bit from being able to, like, concisely read others' energy is this feeling that me and my own energy and me being myself, my energy and who I am is also connected to the world around me, so it's like, if I try to, let's say, disconnect myself, and view somebody else's energy from my own perspective, it gets mixed up because it feels like I'm already looking at, I'm, I'm looking at myself essentially, or I'm looking at a small part of me that I already like felt before, you feel me? Or that I already, that I already knew about. So it's like, I'm not necessarily like doing anything new you feel me 
which is a weird way to put it. It's like I'm talking to myself, but I'm not remembering that it's me. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, but it's like, I don't know. Again, this might be a product of my spiritual awakening and then realizing that, oh, we're all connected. We all are, like, we essentially are the universe talking to itself, you feel me? So being in that energy of, oh, I am the universe, I'm essentially just talking to, you feel me, other energies in other energy. I'm talking to the same energy. It's just that I'm, like picking and choosing what parts of it to align with or what parts of it to talk to or whatnot and I'm I'm better than the versions that I'm choosing to like I wouldn't even necessarily say I'm better but like because that's a whack way to put it because it's all it's like it's all beautiful it's all great it's all love or it's all it all is what it is and it's like that's tight but at the same time it's like there's other things that i'd like to enjoy there's other aspects of this universe that i'd like to appreciate and experience and because i see that other people or other you know representations of the energy of the universe are not aligning with those parts it's like i feel bad i'm and i'm understanding and i i know that i should not i shouldn't feel bad if i decide that i want to experience this type of life and the people around me or other people say that you can't just do that and it's like that's not for you to say for one like we can do anything we want just because you don't believe that you can or you don't believe that it's possible for somebody like like me you don't then you wouldn't even know yourself for real like essentially if anything is possible like literally like you put your mind to it you put your energy to it you allow it to be anything is possible like you feel me i don't know i don't want to say that we can like we can fly or some shit but like niggas fly your day be what you talking about? You feel me? What? How? Choose, choose one way to get it. You feel me? Choose choose whatever way you want to do it. Are we talking in an airplane? Are we talking niggas that can jump so fucking high that they look like they're fucking floating? I feel like that's a superpower as well. That's, that's you feel me? You can leap over a small building. You feel me? Over tall buildings and shit. It's allowing yourself to have the energy like to experience the world in the way that you want to experience it you feel me and not allowing anything to shift or change that you feel me unless it's for a more enjoyable experience i feel for me i i kind of get that mixed up with like all right well how can i change and experience things in a better way and then really what i'm doing is i'm putting another blockage in the way because at some point i'm like somebody's not gonna like this new version of me and honestly i don't care anymore because uh, it's so much energy it's so much energy and effort to try to be something else for somebody else like it's this it's not it doesn't help anyway like i feel that for a lot of i've seen somebody on instagram talking about how like the first time they meet them the first time they hang around people they're very quiet they're almost mute and then like the second or third time they hang out they are mimicking and copying what that person or what the people around them do i feel like i get into the same thing because essentially i'm looking to be accepted by this group or place you feel me or whatever and in that not how she put it was it's like understanding what's acceptable what's what's allowed in this like group or setting and bruh that hit so fucking hard because you know it's like at a certain point when do you say i'm allowed just me being me 
me being me, regardless of who accepts it, regardless of who cares, regardless of like who's around, me being myself is allowed. My energy is allowed. Like my voice, my my love, my time, my care, my space. I can take up as much space as I need to. I can take take up as much space as I want to. I am loved not only by myself, not only by my loved ones and family members. The universe loves me. My ancestors love me. I'm loved, like, limitlessly. So I am going to be myself regardless of what anybody else says because that would be a betrayal to me if I did if I didn't love myself in every way possible, in all the ways in which that I am, all the parts of me and allow all those parts of me to expand and grow and be and love and like hear and listen to all of this beauty and all the joy and all the excitement that the world has to give because that's what I desire because the universe wants me to have it because I want to be in alignment with the universe and realize that the universe wants more abundance it wants a higher frequency it wants a higher vibration it wants people to be more in their own power it wants people to be more in their own conscious awareness of our connection to each other so that we can essentially have like fun for real like what would be the point if it wasn't a joyful and exciting and fun experience Ex experience or e experience experiments is what came to mind it's like i don't know it's like the universe in itself is experimenting with how it is that it can be you know period like in what way can we be that allows us to enjoy you feel me and as i'm saying that the trees and the wind are going crazy outside low key not really they're not really going crazy they're just kind of like yeah <laughs> i'll talk to you feel me i don't know when I'm in my bag, when I'm really in my spiritually connected bag, I'll talk to these trees outside my window talk to me sometimes. And they're just like, yeah, man, they're they're dope guides for real. I wouldn't even say guides. They're like just friends that I don't talk to all the time. But you know what? That's cool because they get it. They're, they're over here. They're enjoying their living life. From growing and expanding, looking good, Taiki. Looking green as fuck, my guys. Y'all looking good out there. Anyway, I'm gonna smoke this bowl. Um, I like how I got on this whole tangent from watching like five seconds of Fooly Cooly of understanding, you feel me, control over our passions and desires. And it's not even a control, it's an allowance. You feel me? It's allowing our passions and desires to just be and to experience them because. Like, hey, who, like, who else is going to do it? Of course, other people are going to be interested in the same things you're interested. We're all human and we all have, like, how else will we grow? How else will we grow if we didn't have other people around us that were also experiencing life? You feel me? Because we can learn from others. We can learn from ourselves. But the main thing is to, like, make sure that you're enjoying yourself. Make sure that you're enjoying what you have to give to yourself give to others with that abundance with that overflow of what you give to yourself but give to yourself what you need in terms of are you well the essentials if you can control it if you can you feel me i understand that there are people you feel me there's a lot of us that don't have all our necessities that don't have everything we need in order to even live comfortably at the moment but outside of that, are you doing everything that you can to make sure if you have access to it, are you eating? You know, you can you can fast if you'd like to. It's That's cool. But are you still taking care of your body? Are you staying hydrated? Are you staying, you know, well-groomed? Do you feel me? Are you taking care of yourself in the ways that make you feel good? you feel me? I know me personally, there's times where 
I get into a depression or I get into a state where I'm like, damn, I don't even feel like taking care of myself. I'm thirsty, but I don't even feel like going to get some water. You feel me? Or, damn, I'm kind of musty, but like I'm too, I'm too like in a, a feeling to even go and take like a shower or something like that. And that's like, and the more I've grown and the more that I've like experienced this energy and felt shame and guilt for it, the more that I've been like the universe lets me know that I'm not even alone in that. Like me experiencing that, although yeah, it sucks and it's whack, but me experiencing that on a, on a macro scale is me experiencing something that a lot of people experience feel guilt and shame for because they feel like they're not able to connect with the people around them simply because they're not in a good mood simply because they're not feeling good about themselves me included you feel me not being able to feel like we're worthy of that connection worthy of being around people worthy of having some sort of comfort in our own skin, in the world around us, you feel me? And, yeah. As disturbing as it is, it's like... That's, that's when you need to understand that you need to come home to yourself. You know, it's like... When you start to worry about other people are how other people are experiencing you, how other people are accepting you, that's when you need to look at yourself and say, am I accepting myself? Am I loving myself? Am I caring for myself? Do I see myself as a problem? Do I see myself as something that's, or someone that's unworthy of having these connections that I desire, of having the life that I desire, of having joy, period? And in sitting and speaking with yourself and feeling your the, your energy, you feel me? Seeing what it is in your mind's eye, you feel me, in your heart space, in all your chakras, seeing what it is that is disconnecting you or depreciating you is like... yeah it's disturbing it's disturbing but at the same time it's like you need this disturbance at times in order to like shake and rattle shit up so that things can be released it's like having stuck energy within you having this stuck mentality and mentally metaphysically emotionally shaking shaking yourself up so that like you know I don't know, not to like bully, like here's the thing, I've, in my healing journey and things like that, a lot of visualizations, a lot of like metaphysical, fifth dimensional, fourth dimensional, like I'll feel like pulls and things from spirit and energies in a very physical way that I know they aren't physical, it's not like a, it's not like somebody's literally pulling me, but their energy is. And I can feel that physically because I'm empathetic or because of how deeply inter intertwined, entangled my physical state of being and my emotional, spiritual, and, and energetic being is. So, like, ticks and twitches and things like that are not uncommon for me. I... Although, for a majority of my life, I've kind of just been, like, head empty. I'm just, I'm just being, you feel me? I'm just chilling. No thoughts. With awareness came, okay. Oh, yeah, that's a lot of, that's a lot of, sh that's a lot of energy. That's a lot of juju. That's a lot of warmth going around me. And... Uh, in the past, being like, well, what the fuck do I do about it? Nothing to do with you. I guess I can just sit here. Or I can read it. Help others. Or I can use it for myself in order to put me in a better position to 
I guess help others. <laughs> help others help myself by allowing myself to be enjoyed and experienced. Um, understanding that even my pers- my perspective isn't necessarily new, but it's not common. So allowing that to be something that is useful for me and for other people, which is only going to allow my abundance, the abundance of others, the, the, from the raised frequency and vibration of the collective. You dig what I'm saying? And keeping myself calm throughout the whole thing because there's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be worried about. There's nothing to be like misled or misread. It's all Ethan. Okay. Thank you. The universe has given me sight. God has given me sight and awareness in order to see what it is that doesn't align with me and move past it. And with that, I'm gonna pack that in. We're gonna pack that in, baby. Yeah, yeah. Ain't it grand? Yeah, yeah. Anywho. We're out here. We're chilling. We're relaxing. We're having a good ass time. I don't know if I'm gonna keep on watching Fooly Cooly. I think we got all we need out of it. So I think I'm gonna end this video here. And uh, with that, I hope y'all have a good one. Y'all be smooth, and I love you. Goodbye. Good boy. Oh yeah, and by the way, if you're interested in a reading, if you're interested in receiving a reading from me and receiving like energetic tarot, whatever, if you'd like to get some art done, if you'd like to, I don't know, play video games or something, hit me up, Instagram is probably the best.